You cannot speak of Palmera, they say, without speaking of Khaled Assad, the father of this place, who for 50 years researched and welcomed the people of the world, every creed and color, to what was for them a World Heritage Site. For Khaled Assad, it was home, his life, his trademark spectacles still peering into and unearthing Palmera's mysteries into his 82nd year. It was very emotional for him because he would show me marks on the pillars and it kind of reminded me when uh, you have a child and you mark how, how, how tall he is at a certain age or at a certain year by, throwing, by drawing a mark on the door and this is how he felt about each one of these pillars and about the castle of Palmyra and about every part of the old city. Uh, he was very passionate about uh, Palmyra as a city and as archeo archaeological sites and I urged him to leave actually towards uh, uh, when ISIL took control of the city and he refused. And that is the world-renowned scholar, the 82-year-old man whose beheaded body was left hanging from a lamppost. The placard accuses him of supporting idolatry and the Syrian government. IS fighters came for him a month ago along with his son. He was tortured. They wanted to know where the artifacts from the site had been hidden. IS sells them on to fund its war. Khaled Assad apparently told them nothing. In a statement given to Channel 4 News, IS said, Khaled Assad was a member of the infidel Ba'ath Party with ties to Christian scholars and Shiites. He also promoted the worship of statues. After he was arrested, we offered him the chance to repent and pledge allegiance to the caliphate, but he refused. IS took Palmyra in May. Locals remained and looked on as they took over, but the UN says around 70,000 others have fled. By June, IS had vowed not to destroy the vast Roman ruins. Instead, they set about detonating pre-Roman sites. A month later in July, they were using the Roman amphitheatre, not wrecking it, using it for mass public executions. Knowing Palmyra would fall, the Assad government moved what it could shift for safekeeping in Damascus. But back in Palmyra itself, refusing to leave till the last, Khaled Assad was betrayed. One of uh, his daughters, one of the daughters of Mr. Khaled Assad, told me earlier today that uh, they think the reason he was killed by ISIL is uh, because uh, some one of his neighbors tipped off ISIL that uh, Mr. Assad has very strong ties. Obviously, he was a government uh, employee uh, in, uh, he had very strong ties with the Syrian government and he had met uh, the Syrian president on Bashar al-Assad on s several occasions to be rewarded and given medals for his work on, on Palmyra. And that was more than enough for the butchers and torturers of IS. In doing what they've done, though, IS merely obscures international attention from other equally violent areas of this long civil war. Last week alone, at least 800 people were killed by government bombing of a bazaar in Douma on the outskirts of Damascus. The particular personalized cruelty of IS, then, is just one facet of many wartime barbarities across Syria.